नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एन सी आर टी लाइफ ओन एन इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम दिस इज आ स्पेशल सीरीज एंड एज यू ऑल नो दैट टूडे इज मंडे एंड ऑन मंडे वी टेक अप द डिजिटल इनिशियटिव इन एजुकेशन टेकन बाई इधर अ स्टेट और अ यूनियन टेरिटरी और एनी ऑटोनॉमस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन well today we are going to talk about the digital initiatives taken up by nvs and uh, nvs is uh, nothing but uh, navodaya vidyalay samiti i am sure you are all aware of uh, these initiatives but we are going to talk in detail about uh, these initiatives and we have two guests with us and uh, if you have any questions please please feel free to give us a call on our number which is 8800440559 my name is tanvi gurana <coughs> i'm sorry my name is tanvi gurana and uh, at this moment you're watching us on evidya channel number 6 to channel number 12 and also on our youtube channel which is ncert official in the live chat box you can write down your questions your queries and share them with us there's one more medium through which you can get in touch with us and that is our email id which is training.helpdesk@ciet.nic.in let me please introduce to you our today's guests my first guest is uh, sitting with me right here in our studio and she is uh, mrs kirti pawar a very warm welcome to you ma'am namaskar namaskar ma'am is an assistant commissioner of academics from navodaya vidyalay samiti and we also have with us one more guest and he is mr rajesh chelle a very warm welcome to you to sir namaste namaskar sir is an assistant commissioner of it from navodaya vidyalay samiti i welcome both our guests once again in our program and uh, very soon we are going to begin the details of the discussion of the details of the digital initiatives in education taken by nvs but before that let me please uh, tell you uh, one important information that is regarding india's g20 presidency we are extremely proud that india assumed the g20 presidency and would convene the g20 leaders summit for the first time in the country this year that is 2023 as a nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism india's g20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding the pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest its true spirit of vasudev kutumbakam or should i say the world is one family so let's begin this discussion um, and uh, my first question would be to sir rajesh sir would you like to tell us uh, what all initiatives the digital initiatives that are taken by nvs and uh, you would like to share the details with our all our viewers here so uh, thank you for giving this opportunity from me so before we begin on this uh, discussion on digital initiatives in education let me give you a brief about navodaya vidyalay samiti slide next slide now so okay. navodaya vidyalay samiti had its humble origin with two jnvs in 1986 under the national education policy of 1986 navodaya samiti was established so from that humble beginning now we are at 645 schools spread across all of the india now there is a residential setup where we take admission at a very young age at six class we take students so we provide education and hold hold on we contribute to the hold on development of the students and until the take care of the students until the pass out till 12th class So as you can see the slide, uh, 648 JNVs are managed by eight regional offices, and we also cater to other training needs of our educators, teachers, administrators through our seven national leadership institutes present across the nation. Yeah, next time, ma'am. So when we take the students at the tender age. Respons responsibility is to take care of the students' personality as a whole. This we through we achieve, we achieve, and this manifested in the mission and vision also. It says that 
to provide good quality modern education, including a strong component of culture, educational values, awareness of environment, adventure activities, and physical education to talented children, predominantly from rural areas without regard to their family socioeconomic condition. Here are the catch point is rural areas. By default, we have reserved 75% of our seats to rural, rural students and remaining 25 are open for urban students. So we cater to the mostly to the rural rural students and we compete with the more we compete our genius compete with the modern any modern schools or so-called techno schools or global schools. Not next slide. So to give you an example, these are our, these are our statistics for the last academic year. So we have 561 JNVs which have up to class 12. And out of 35 odd students which gave the exam, 34,000 students passed in first class, and out of which 330 students obtained 100 percent. So similarly, for 10th class, there are 620, 625 JNVs. And Total 45,529 students participated in the exam and almost 41,000 students were able to achieve first station. So here you can see almost 1,000 people, 1,000 students were able to get 100 percentage. Next slide now. now we will be initially. I'll be discussing about the initial uh, digital initiatives that have been taken up by Samiti. Uh, so I'll be discussing about the infrastructure that has been developed, the initiatives in line with uh, national education policy and government policy of digitalization, and uh, and under infrastructure, what are the your new infrastructures or latest infrastructures in education field that we have created or we have we were able to give it to our students along with that even in administration side what are the digital digital initiatives we have taken up so that the burden on the teachers and administration is come is lessened or minimized now next slide so as this national education policy says that uh, tech, uh, we need to integrate technology into the curriculum, we need to create digital infrastructure uh, along with the traditional face-to-face -face education, digital and blended mode of education should be uh, started or it should be more encouraged and how we created optimal learning environments and supports for students by using this latest digital technology, uh, how this technology is contributing to the holistic, uh, holistic and multidisciplinary education. Also, how we are using technology to edu educate the teacher or provide training to the teachers. So, based on these guidelines, we started building our digital initiatives. Well, next slide. So, in each of the JNVs, we have well equipped computer labs. Computer labs, in the sense, uh, as per uh, the NEP, these labs were equipped for imparting coding or teaching AI to the students. And we have smart classrooms with latest technologies. Also, to enable students to learn at their own convenience, tablets were issued for class 11 and 12 students of all the JNVs. And for teachers, we have issued digital pen and digital pad. Apart from this, the basic infrastructure, internet and connectivity. We have let no stone unearthed to provide internet connectivity to, to ensure that internet connectivity is provided to all our JMBs. Now, next one. So it all began in, uh, in the year 2021, when in 99 JMBs concentrated in minority areas, we were able to convert all the classrooms into smart, into smart classrooms. 
These smart classrooms were equipped with a short throw projector, a whiteboard, green board, a visualizer, a mini computer. And also, because the JNVs are located in remote areas, we were also able to provide a UPS excuse. And the journeys began with that. And after that, in the year 2022, we have converted in the remaining 550 JNVs, we have converted two regular classrooms into smart classrooms. Apart from this, as I said, national train, national leadership institute, which we use to give provide training for our teachers and teachers, academicians, and administrators, we have converted them into a virtual virtual classroom. The difference between virtual classroom and smart classroom is, smart classroom will access the internet and only with the help of content, we will we'll be able to teach teach the audience or teacher or the students. But in virtual classroom not just teaching, we'll be able to record and transmit whatever is happening in this live classroom into various centers. So in Analyze and Four Center of Excellence, we have we have equipped virtual classrooms. My next slide. So these are set up live uh, photograph of a, of a smart classroom. You can see the teacher teaching uh, teaching the students using the online content. Uh, this is the users, how these are, these are being used, how it has helped the students and teachers and how it has made a learning experience rich, uh, rich and interesting to the students will be covered in a later part. So this is the infrastructure that you can see. My next one. So during COVID, we faced, an, we faced a peculiar situation. Being a residential system, when teachers and students were in the classroom uh, or in the same campus, there was no issue. But during the during the pandemic, we had to send the students back to their homes. So when they reach their homes, the issue is, uh, as I said, seventy-five percent of all seats are reserved for rural people. People are struggling for struggling with. We have seen that. We have a data that we have seen. Students are suffering with uh, suffering with lack of devices. Either there are two, two, two or three more than two students in the same house, but there is only one device. So, can, though we were providing online education, access to the education has become an issue. So, keeping this in mind, our next step is we have tried to procure tablets and issue the tablets to 11th and 12th class students. So initially this on the first phase, we did it for 11th, 11th and 12th class students. And in next phase, we, we are hoping to extend it to the, all the classes. So in this tablets, we have provided preloaded content along, along with the competitive uh, examination material for reputed organizations for both science stream and uh, science stream, engineering stream, management stream, and also other competitive exams. Along with that, education applications like e Diksha, e Patishala, NTA, Abhyas, etc. were all preloaded in the tablets. So now question comes, how, how do we, we are giving the device as a sensitive device to the students with internet connectivity. So we have installed MDM in the tablets, and based on that, we control what the students are accessing in the tablet. And we also monitor the tablet, where it is being used, when it is being used, how it is being used. Uh, so this is the MDM and its uh, applicability for our tablets. Another interesting is we can say, NVS is proud to say that we are one among the pioneers to issue tablets to the students in a residential setup in a government sector. So, my next slide, thank you. So, these are the computer labs, live class. Uh, yeah, as a part of our curriculum, students are encouraged, uh, encouraged to go to the computer lab and do the practicals there. This is one such like, uh, live photo which, which we are able to show to you. Yeah. Coming to internet connectivity, 
before pandemic uh, there was no uniformity or there was no proper guidelines and whatever was available that was being used by all the schools for to to establish connectivity so after the pandemic based on our experience uh, we have issued guidelines or we have tried to convert into lease land connectivity as you all see as you can see now more than 300 out of 34 649 more than 300 that's almost 50% of jnb is converted to converted to lease land and and another 252 are under broad using broadband broadband connectivity uh, even after all this there are three jnbs which are located in very remote as a remotest part of the country so we could not leave them behind so instead of uh, we though we tried all other alternatives when we were not able to provide any other any proper standard internet connectivity we had to resort to vsat these are the three jnbs jnb dibang valley jnb anjao and jnb minipal in which we are providing internet connectivity through vsat this this is like all the 100 all the 640 engineers that is 100% we have we have established established 100% connectivity in samiti uh future future plan is that we are trying to convert most of them into lease land connectivity so that we can have uninterrupted access to internet next coming to matters of teams during Uh, this is also happened during the pandemic when students went uh, returned to the home and uh, where are, when there were multiple platforms online platforms in way where uh, students and teachers were trying to get familiarize uh, to impart online education we collaborated with microsoft teams and At, at no additional cost, we were able to get almost 10 lakh licenses, of which we were able to use 3 lakh licenses till now. So, based on this, we have created virtual classrooms, virtual timetable, virtual uh, exams, tests, everything, and Microsoft Teams were used to do it. Do and even now, even after pandemic, now also we are actively using Microsoft Teams. This Teams. platform to so that students can learn when they when they want to do it my next slide now coming to the second part this uh, digitalization in administration so our uh, recruitment process where starting from issue of notification to declaration of result everything is done online we collect we collect the uh, applications to online we conduct the examination to on, through online we issue call letters to online everything from start to end everything is done online so next is transfer portal we have integrated we have developed our own erp model that is shahar darpan which has been integrated with this transfer portal so our our employees instead of instead of going here and there or running here or there they can simply fill the form on our portal and based on the eligibility based on the availability and based on the choice they can select and everything is transparent and given there so the such a complicated complicated process was reduced into a simple online process through online transfer portal then further the in the residential school there is a lot of procurement we have ensured ensured that 100% is 100% of procurement in samudhi is done through jump portal only so apart from that our admission process in class 6 and class 9 is done through online through the collaboration of cbsc so digital deposits for personal and students is one more initiative and finally as per the government's digital initiative we are implementing e office we are currently e office is currently implemented in headquarters and we 
in near future in the next 6 month this em e office will be implemented in regional offices also next slide ma'am shala darpan shala darpan is a erp module developed by samiti here there are various modules integrated content management portal is a website management so like you like you know you must have seen there is a website for samiti each uh, regional office each uh, each nli and each jnb so the, all these websites are managed through this integrated content management integ uh, management portal and personal information system this is a depository for the employees employees e service book employees transfer employees leave employees apart employees uh, and their property does everything everything related to employees uh, employees is maintained in personal information system similarly for students we have student management system this is another depository where information related to student and school is maintained so another module is budget and finance and uh, the last module is hostel and mess management ma'am next slide please so this is the detail about details about integrated content management portal as i told there are 6 649 bilingual portals for each school and uh, these websites were built on open source technologies individual dashboards for schools offices to manage and update the content provisions are there like schools can though we are managing it centrally there are few provisions which the schools itself can change and manage uh, and each the dashboards on this website are particular to those schools only the uh, represent the particular school also smart search, smart search facility to search for information on individual portals whenever we search for information the information is provided only for that particular jnb or particular region or particular headquarters it uh, so though the data can, data is maintained holistically but search here the search facility is advanced such that so that it only gives you the result for particular thing what you are searching for although there are 6.14 separate websites the template and the background and the feel is unique it's same for each and every website it's the same ma'am next ma'am coming to student information system here school registration all the data related to school like schools uh, infrastructure school strength students strength staff strength and facilities provided in the schools like playgrounds classrooms hostels quarters everything is is available on school registration and student information students personal data students educational uh, data related to education his health and classes time table assignments competition lesson plan everything is integrated into school information system once you see this you will be able to understand um, how this sis will be helpful in easing the show or, or providing the uh, through dashboards how it provide the quick quick information about the student and schools further we have developed a grievance resolution mechanism so grievance is a part of good administration so we have launched an online portal where students employees or parents of the student can raise grievances and these grievances the grievances will be answered and disposed in a time bound manner the hierarchy is set uh, employees with their unique the unique person of pas login id and students and parents with the students unique login id they will be able to log in and register their grievances so 
their superpigments. We also have developed aluminum alumni portal. So you might uh, you might you might have known that Jainvis was Navodaya Vidyalaya Samiti was formed in the year 1986. From 86 till 2022, that's almost 34 years. So many students might have passed out from Samiti. So all this, this is such a great human resource. So to bring the human resource back to the roots, we have designed and implemented this alumni portal. The link for this alumni portal is given in our website and students, all students can register. This will be verified by the principal and after verification, students or alumni can opt for either can opt for mentoring the students of JNB or support the JNB and also they can connect with other alumni. Okay, this is how we have initiated the infrastructure or we have built up the infrastructure or we have initiated the digital movement in the organization. So how this has brought the changes, how or how this be this is being used or will be dealt by by the next speaker. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for highlighting the key areas. And uh, I would request uh, Keithi, ma'am, to ma'am, could you please continue from where sir left? Okay, thank you, Rajesh Shi, and thank you, Tanvi, for giving this opportunity to showcase the digital initiatives of NVS. As Rajesh has already uh, communicated, that NVS Navode Vidyalaya Samiti was formed with a vision to provide best quality education to rural children of our country. And we are seen as a pace setter institute, uh, establishing a model of quality education. That's why we initiated uh, these new trends of education well before uh, this COVID time or I will say we have initiated this digital education or computer based education uh, way back in 2001 when we initiated computerization of our JNVs and we initiated providing internet connectivity to our JNVs. Uh, every JNV is equipped with a computer lab, a proper computer lab with desktops, uh, internet connectivity, printers and all such devices. And that was argumented during the crisis that COVID posed before the education system of our country. So the infrastructure that Rajesh has told about, uh, like computer labs, we have basic infrastructure in JNVs like computer labs. Uh, we have started establishing uh, smart labs or smart computer labs with support from Samsung in way back in 2013. We, are work, we have been working on internet, providing internet connectivity to our all JNVs uh, from uh, 2001 itself. Okay. And we have carried forward these initiatives after this uh, uh, disruption felt during the COVID time. So I will just uh, go through what the impact of these digital technologies or these digital infrastructure has been on education in NVS. Like uh, we can see here, uh, ICT enabled classroom transaction. As I have already told that we have started converting or creating a smart labs in our JNVs in 2013. And with that came we have uh, that smart labs were equipped with 40 laptops, one to one for every student okay. and interactive boards for the teachers to deliver the content to them. So this was a project for uh, e-learning or blended learning for the students hmm. and making learning more interactive for the students, giving them 
exposure towards ICT based education. And we have continued that and we have argumented that during COVID time. Right now, we are focusing on converting all our classrooms into a smart class so that we can uh, broad base that experience, that we can uh, take that experience to every child for every period, not just one or two smart classes in a JNV. All the classrooms we are focusing on converting into smart classes. Next, as Rajesh has already, uh, Rajesh ji has already told that after the disruption fa uh, faced during the COVID time, NVS has taken an initiative to provide tablets to all 11th and 12th class students in JNVs. Well, when there is online education, tablet has a clear defined purpose for that. But when we talk about when children are in the school, so how do we use these tablets for furthering the, the education? So we are using these for online lectures providing, provided by uh, eminent persons, career counseling sessions. We are using these tablets for mock tests, for preparation of competitive examinations for our students. These tablets are preloaded with certain educational apps like Diksha that have content of all classes. We have provided specialized content in them also. So, children can use these tablets for their self-paced learning. They can learn on their own and they can and even teachers can give them a personalized content or personalized assessment to further their education. We have NTA Abhyas app preloaded on our tablets so that students can take mock tests for preparation of competitive examination like JE and NEET, etc. Our students can attend webinars on these tablets like recently they viewed Pariksha Pe Charcha program on the devices available with them in the JNV. So these tablets are being used for furthering the education, giving the self-paced learning opportunity to the students, giving the teachers an opportunity to curate the content and assessment as per the need of individual students and giving the opportunity to the students to prepare on their own and test their limits, test their capabilities for the preparation of different examinations they need to appear after class 12th. Likewise, uh, 200 of our JNVs are having Vigyan Jyoti program and Vigyan Jyoti, for Vigyan Jyoti program we have provided tablet to each child enrolled in the program. This program is focused on providing girl child the opportunity to shine in the field of STEM, that is science, technology, mathematics and engineering. Mm. And special online sessions are organized for these girls. These girls are provided special e-content, various role model instructions are made for, are made available for them. They have webinar with scientists. They have a special content provided to them for competitive exam support, etc. And they can access all these things through the digital devices and through the ICT infrastructure like internet connectivity available in their JNVs. NVS has also started a special program for providing competitive exam support to each and every eligible student that is class 11th and 12th student of all JNVs through online mode. And that program is called Enable program. And we are extensively using digital devices and techno and internet connectivity in the JNVs for the program. Special classes are arranged for the students who want to prepare for competitive examinations, who want to appear for JE and NEET after their class 12th. And students, on the one hand, students are assessing these uh, classes by the tablets that are available to them in JNVs. And on the other hand, these classes are being telecast 
by the virtual classrooms using virtual classrooms that has been established in our NLIs and our, in our center of excellence JNVs. Okay. And teachers can provide support to all the students, all the JNV students that they can be they can benefit by this kind of support. So use of a smart class, tablet, etc. What they are for? This slide shows in a nutshell that weekly online classes for preparation of competitive examinations, academic session by expert teachers and scientists, career counseling by renowned academicians. Mentoring by our successful alumni, exam preparation sessions and mock tests, etc. And one thing I would like to add, curated content and curated assessment by the teachers on the basis of need of individual students. Like online quiz, teachers are creating quiz that can be floated on the devices and students can answer them and that will give a real time assessment of uh, how much the uh, children have learned. Uh, similarly, subject enrichment activities, project based assessments are also being followed using this uh, devices and connectivity that are being provided by NVS to all our JNVs. Another aspect is digitalization of school libraries. Total 640 JNVs out of 649 are connected with these digital libraries, they have converted their libraries into digital libraries using eGranthale software and cloud based version. So that on one hand the management of library has been easy, data entry, classification, cataloging all is being done through the software, on the other hand the members of the library, mostly the students, have access to the e-books and e-resource material any time they want to access. So, most of our JNVs are on cloud-based e-Granthala software and providing access to the users, library members 24-7 and uh, happy to say that uh, as on date we have 2,40,000 users for our digital libraries. That's a big number. Yeah. Similarly, another aspect, uh, our uh, Navode Vidyalaya Samiti has uh, uh, few distinct parts of functioning uh, atmosphere, we can say. Like we have uh, our JNVs on the ground level that are providing education to the students. We have headquarters and regional offices, eight region, regional offices that are uh, taking care of administration of these JNVs. And we have seven NLIs, National, uh, sorry, Navodaya Leadership Institutes that are tasked with providing training and capacity building of teachers and staff. And these NLIs, all of our NLIs are equipped with virtual classroom, smart labs and digital infrastructure. And that is being used for online teachers training and webinars etc. for capacity building of teachers and staff. And uh, as we have seen during COVID pandemic when offline uh, trainings and offline uh, opportunities for teachers for capacity building were disrupted. So, we have through these NLIs conducted sessions for all the teachers of all JNVs, how they can use different softwares for classroom management, how they can use different softwares for online assessment, digital tools and platform for online learning. The teachers were trained on uh, specific softwares like GeoGebra, uh, virtual labs, use of virtual labs. They were trained on cyber safety and security because everything was going on online and we have to sensitize our students and even our teachers for cyber safety and security also. They, so how to use cyber space safely, they were, uh, trainings were organized on these topics also. Sidewise, we also conducted sessions on value education. 
virtual lab sessions were organized blended on and online teaching sessions were organized how they can how different uh, uh, tools software tools can be used like kahoot mentimeter etc that uh, so that they can make their teaching more interactive and engaging for the students through online sessions so all these preparations and all these things were made available to the teachers through virtual mode through online sessions and our teachers were capable to undertake online teaching or teaching learning without any hiccups they could conduct online sessions for the students online assessment for the students during the covid time also likewise trainings not only for teachers other staff also for administrative efficiency and leadership for vigilance for procurement through jam from for pedagogical leadership for principals for making green school program all these trainings were conducted through online mode and are being conducted uh, it is not like that during covid we conducted online trainings and now we have shifted to offline mm. we have adopted a blended mode okay. few trainings and webinars are being conducted through online mode mm. and being transmitted to all the jnv so that more number of teachers can be benefited few are conduct being conducted in blended mode up some part of that online and some part of that in physical form so we have not totally shifted on, on offline mode okay. we are uh, carrying Harsh. forward the learning from covid okay uh e content uh, a big challenge during covid was that teachers were uh, um, teachers were not prepared for taking classes online they didn't have enough content for that mm. during that our teachers prepared e content about stuff them we made groups of teachers to prepare a specialized sub class based subject based e content and we made that available in form of pdf handouts with okay. links so that if a teacher want a content from class 6 science this chapter he would just need to click the link and the content would be okay. available to them so we distributed these handouts to uh, all the teachers and students also okay so that in whatever mode whatever data they have whatever time they are comfortable with they can I have access to the e content developed by our own teachers hmm. rajesh ji have already told about grievance portal yes and earlier <coughs> excuse me so like ma'am said uh, and you can see on this slide itself uh, sir already spoke about uh, the grievance redressal mechanism and uh, let's uh, let's ask ma'am so earlier the students had to uh, give their grievance or whatever mm. complaint or whatever uh, suggestions they had in physical form to the principal right either student or the parents mm. or even if teachers have some grievance also now we have shifted that to a digital platform now the student has to log in with his login id okay or the teacher whatever is the case and they just upload their grievance and this will automatically go to the principal that can be resolved or that can be forwarded to the next authority <coughs> in this way this is a seamless system okay in which grievance can be recorded can be seen by higher authorities also and as an organization we can take some remedial me remediation measures also if hmm. lots of grievances are coming from one school or from one point of uh, one topic we hmm. can take some remediation measures also after analyzing these grievances <coughs> like uh, sir has told about sis uh, i would like to add that <coughs> shala darpan is a big initiative by nvs that was launched in 2018 at that included a complete online repository of database uh whether it is uh, the information about staff teachers and other staff 
whether it is information about students and the purpose was uh, to make uh, easy the seamless integration of information seamless uh, transferring of information from the basic functionaries to the higher officials so that decision making can be improved or can be made more efficient okay so we integrated uh, all these repositories teachers information staff information school information student information in sis and going one step ahead this year we have prepared dashboard for students before that we had the information of a student we had the information about the educational achievement of the student various activity the student is participating health record of a student a student competition he is participating in but the student was not able to see that or access that as a complete record this year we have introduced dashboard for students in which a student can log in using his uh, unique student id and access all that record uh, this i think uh, i should say that holistic progress card which is advocated in the nep national education policy 2020 this is a step for that okay. that a student have access to all his record can see how he is faring how what is his health record how is faring in different activities and competitions and the same dashboard also has the facility to lose grievances also okay like i said student information system in nvs has increased transparency because of the seamless flow of information mm -hmm. unified and integrated nvs data we can uh, have uh, information about any student in any jnv whether it is in a remote area or a nearby jnv uh, controlled information dissemination collaboration of headquarter ro and jnv has been made easy with that it is it has uh, given greater visibility of students and achievements of jnvs and achievement of students and now a student can also view his achievement level on that and this has provided an information base for us to build up on and the last but not least the way forward what we are planning for uh, the future this is uh, implementation of navodaya vidyalaya samiti vidya samiksha kendra okay as we have already told that we have all we have the repositories of our staff of our students and of our schools mm -hmm. but under vsk we would be having a dashboard that will show the real time data for the analytics and for the action purpose on which on the basis of which actions and policy decisions can be taken then uh, an, an ambitious project that we are currently undertaking is converting all regular classrooms into smart classes that i hope we would be able to do uh, in one or two year um, i hope uh, in this year also centralized biometric attendance system to monitor the attendance of staff and students as well we are planning to do implementation of personalized learning lab a personalized learning lab as we see it is a complete uh, ict education solution having devices for the students hmm. and also for the teachers to implement ict based learning in the classroom so we are planning to go for that and implementation of language lab language labs are especially uh, useful for us as uh, many of you may be knowing that nvs follows a special three language policy we have in all jnvs one hindi english and one regional language okay and mostly there is one language of a different linguistic reason okay like in a jnv in kerala we will be having malayalam hindi and english right and 
in a JNV in Uttar Pradesh, we may be having Hindi, English and Kannada or Malayalam. So, this is a language from a different linguistic region. Okay. And language labs would be very useful for our children to pick up a completely different language. Absolutely. Yeah. Ma'am, uh, all the very best. And uh, the list of the digital initiatives taken by NVS is too long. And uh, it was a wonderful um, program where we discussed uh, so many things that NVS has done, not just uh, yesterday, but uh, it has been doing for years now. And um, the list is very long. And uh, like ma'am said, way to forward. There's a list in that. Uh, all the very best, ma'am. May we uh, get to see those language labs very, very soon and uh, those uh, biometric attendance system also. Yes. Everything you're planning to uh, will be done very, very soon. I really hope so. Thank you Thank so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us. Uh, and uh, yes, thank you so Thank much. you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Thank you. And um, this was the program where we discussed uh, the digital initiatives uh, in education taken by NVS, which is Navodhya Vidyale Samiti. And uh, it was a wonderful thing and uh, so many key areas were discussed here. If you have missed this program, please watch it again on NCRT Official, that is our YouTube channel. So we are wrapping up this particular program, but uh, we'll come back again in a few minutes uh, with another interesting program of ours that is Sayog, Guidance for Mental Well-Being of the Children. And um, the topic of discussion would be examination stress and its impact on adolescence. So please stay here, keep on watching our programs and keep on watching even their channels. And uh, let me remind you once again that we are extremely proud that uh, India assumed G20 presidency and uh, would be convening the G20 Leaders Summit for the first time in the country this year. A nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest its true spirit of Vasudev Kutumbkam or should I say the world is one family. With this, I'm Tanvi Khurana. I'll take a leave of you. Please take care and keep on watching our programs on Evidya channels. Namaskar.